Hey folks, welcome back to another series in the Geek Corpse production film. Your host, me, Timothy Adams, will be walking you through the components of the Green Dragon expansion set for the Dungeons and Dragons Attack Wing game by WizKids. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are. Here are the major components to the game. The bag with the cards, the rule book, and the die cut tokens, the large base, and of course the figure itself. The first thing we're getting into is the figure. This is an identical replica of the one in the same mold, of course, that they use for the Icon of the Realms, the regular figures for the standalone miniatures that they sell. Uh, this dragon though is nicely painted it is just like the other one like i said it's identical the shading the features the details that they put into it uh, i'm quite impressed with this one uh, it's like i said it's identical except for the notable peg base here which is iconic for all their flight path games especially in the large one i don't know if you can see that there uh, focusing a little bit more um, we'll get into that but that's how that plays into the peg of course of course you have the large base here with the two sets of fasteners for the two maneuver dials and three pegs for altitude. So we'll go ahead and get right into this. Now, I haven't opened this before, so this will be the first time I'm doing this. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. Okay, and the first thing on top is the adventure booklet. It is the adventure 3.1, the Green Dragons, Demens, the Demesne. I don't know how to say that, to be honest with you. A lot of these words escape me and get me tongue-tied but this is your standard adventure booklet if you want to do adventures just like if you're familiar with mission cards that come with the fantasy flight games version uh x-wing or was kids um star trek attack wing they come with mission cards they come with the booklets in this case so we turn the cards over the first card is invisibility now i'm not going to go over the mechanics or the uh effect of every card i'm just going to show you what it comes with because i don't want to take too much away but as you do notice i'm sure like every expansion pack so far this is going to be worth the money standard 24.99 price point and you get all of this uh cards die cut tokens the figure the base adventure booklet and of course the nice packaging and artwork so we'll go ahead and do that and see what we got here all right invisibility Oh, here is the proper name. Wow, I am not even going to attempt to say that. I'm just calling him Cloud for short. Uh, three attack, two agility, four in the life, and one for the armor. It does say here, I will read this one, all opposing creatures in your forward arc are minus, or minus one attack die when attacking you. I like that one. I guess some type of fear factor is involved there. Protection from energy. The flight card here's the one for flight and of course on the other side the maneuvering card for the ground all right so if you notice, thing you can, i will point out is that it has two hard or come abouts uh, that will give you an exhaustion token but you can do that range three or four ice storm oh upside down there we go there we go let's get this right all right poison breath which would you expect from a Green Dragon, Derision, Toxic Effect, ah, another artifact, Tome of Naming, and of course the generic lower cost dragon. And this one has only one less heart. All right, so those are some good cards. It'd be great to build up your, your, our, your, your, your uh, God, I'm in a loss of words. What is it? I can't remember what it's called now. But here are the die cut tokens, your standard hourglass tokens. There's your base template. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that right now so I can put it together. Maneuver dial, this one is for flight. And then of course your other maneuver dial for ground, plus all the standard array of tokens. 
It might not seem like a lot, but as you get used to the set, you're going to notice that a lot of these are going to be duplicates. So uh, they got to put them on there because not everybody's going to collect every set like I do myself. But overall, I like this expansion pack. I like this green dragon. Um, I like the cards that I come with. I'm going to look more into detail with them. I didn't share them with you because you can always push pause and read them if you want. But uh, I want you to go out and think of, and contemplate buying this because it's really worth the money. I, as far as I'm concerned, and maybe it's because I'm a little jaded to the fact that I really am enthralled by this game system, uh, that I like everything that's come out. I'm impressed with the artwork and the packaging, the things that you get for its money with all the die cut tokens. It's it's a it's a nice game, and I think they're putting a lot of time and effort into this. I hope to see them continue with this and not to do too many things and start losing quality. I am a little taken back by the lack of support for the WizKids Star Trek Attack Wing. And I'm not making it about that. But my point is, is that the focus that they put into this is well worth it. It's, it's like I said, it's nicely done and you get a lot. They put a lot of time and effort. So go ahead and pick it up. And that'll do it for this segment on the Geek Corpse production film. And just so you know, please don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel. If you are interested in finding out more about this game, other games like it, like the Star Trek Wiz game, uh, WizKids game, uh, visit the WizardsCoast.com, WizKidsGames.com, the DriveThruRPG.com. Of course, there's Paizo and Steve Jackson game, Steve Jackson games out there. Now, if you want to find out more about Geek Corpse Productions, just click the link or go to geekcp.net. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. As lastly, if you want some information about tabletop games, you can go to gameboardgeek.com and check out Tabletop with Will Wheaton. Thanks, guys, and have a pleasant gaming experience.